Hey, YouTubers. Hmm. Hey, YouTubers. Good morning, Rob Muffet. Guys, about a couple of years ago, I did a video on the 12 reasons your fuses keep blowing. It's been a popular video. Several people have asked me if I could do a video just on air conditioning, which is a pretty complicated subject. I didn't want to do a video on it, but the more I thought about it, the more I thought, you know, there probably are some things I could come up with that people could, even if they're not a mechanic or an electrician, which I'm not, but they could diagnose their car without diagnostic equipment by just looking at things and checking things on their own before spending a lot of money at the mechanic. This video is not going to be that long, but if you want to make it shorter, you can adjust the speed at the bottom of your video. There's an icon you can change the speed. Also, if you don't want to listen to the video, I have condensed everything and put it in text form in the video description. So let's get started. We're going to have two parts to this video. Two groups of people. One group, their air conditioner, as soon as they turn on the air conditioner, the fuse blows. The second group, they can use their air conditioner for a while, then it blows. I'm going to have reasons for and things you can do for both scenarios. And at the end, I'll have some things you can check into for that would cover both scenarios. So if your air conditioner keeps blowing, as soon as you turn the fuse, as soon as you turn on the air conditioner, check visible wiring. Make sure it's not bare, afraid, exposed, um, they're loose. If it doesn't look right, it's not right. That's one good thing about wiring. You can kind of take a look and see if it doesn't look right, <laughs> it's not right. Also, check where there's any movement where the wire can vibrate, like especially like where the wire goes through the firewall. Or uh, you can also have be very unlucky and have your electronics hooked up to something in the trunk. In, in your trunk is like where you slam the lid and then the wires, if they're old and they're everything is brittle and something comes apart. Or even if you're really unlucky, I've seen where people had the light in, in their, their, their hood of their car and it, it's just one wire and it, it, they slam the hood all the time. And after a while that gets old and it breaks and somehow it was connected with something that was connected to their air conditioners. Like, you know, <laughs> look for loose, frayed, burnt, exposed wires. Wherever wires are going over a sharp edge or any part of the car that moves and flexes, if there's wires there, check into it. So that's, I would say that would be the first thing to look at if your fuses keep blowing as soon as the air conditioner comes on. Second thing is check your fuse box. Now, when you check your fuse box, it's probably someplace really dark, hard to see. Get your really good flashlight. And look closely. Put on your reading glasses. <laughs> and then look. You want to look for uh, anything's corroded, anything's loose, anything, uh, if it's melted or damaged, if, if the slots don't look right. If you have, look at your schematic. Make sure all of your fuses are right. And make sure like there's not a fuse in one slot that's not supposed to have something in that slot. Um, like I said, use a real bright light and check out just like <clears throat> it owed you money. <laughs> make sure it's, it looks perfect. And then if that could be a damaged fuse box. You could have a problem. That could be your problem right there. Your relay is <clears throat> surprisingly, um, I don't think they cause problems that often, but um, when they do, you can't really... Unless you have a, a meter, you can't really check. It's hard to look at. They don't really, you can't tell by looking at it. But what you can do is you can swap out another one if you have a similar car or um, if you can have access to another one, you can just swap in. And But the thing is, if you go to buy one, they don't allow you to return electronic uh, parts like that. So you can't just like, oh, I, it didn't work. So here's, no, they won't give you money back. But if you go to a junkyard and a, uh, um, you need another part for your car. In the meantime, just get you a relay and you're probably pretty lucky. It'd probably be okay. And uh, just to test. But uh, sometimes they're not too expensive. In the long run, it's better if you get a, 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 a multimeter and just learn how to use it. You could test to see. There's, there's videos on YouTube. I'll find a link for one and put it in my video description on how to test a relay with a multimeter. Because it's just a very simple test. But I don't want to go into that in this video. Um, but yeah, that, that, that could be something I would definitely look into. Your compressor clutch, you know, your compressor on your air conditioner has a clutch that comes on when it operates the air conditioner. If that's hanging up with your, with your engine off, go see if you can move it and see if, it, <laughs> if it's frozen or if it's like very extremely hard to move. It should spin pretty good. Also, when you are running the car, it should kick in and, or if you hear it come on and it never goes off, um, there could be something wrong with your clutch. Um, 
and that could be causing your fuses to blow. Those are the main reasons why it would blow immediately when you turn on the air conditioner. What about it's going to blow after it's been running for a while? Uh, you could inspect the air filter, um, the cabin air filter, which nobody ever does. Um, you probably have a car that's never had anybody look at the air filter, but if it's clogged up solid, you could be putting a lot of uh, extra burden and work on your car and make it not run as it should and your air conditioner could be blowing a fuse that way. Look at your radiator and your condenser and uh, also see if you can get a pistol and shoot the guy on the lawnmower. <laughs> uh, see if your, your uh, radiator and your condenser is blocked with, with leaves and debris and stuff and it's causing it to overheat. Are your air vents, maybe you got a mouse in, or maybe you have a, a family of mice that have just solidly packed your one of your air vents so now your your air conditioner has to work extra hard. Your mower blower, your mower blower, your 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 blower motor, it's uh if it's squealing or grinding, um you you can you can listen to it and tell a lot of times if there's something going on with your blower motor and realize maybe that is a culprit. Um, and if it is making a lot of noise, even if it's not causing your air conditioner to blow your fuses, you should probably look into replacing it anyway. The wires are the components, are they overheating? You know what? I said you don't need any diagnostic equipment. But for a very small amount of money, you can get your little infrared digital thermometer and you can check your components. I'm going to leave a, I'll leave it right up here. I'll, I'll, I'll put a graph of all the temperatures, different things should normally be in your car where you can test with one of these because you don't have to be inclined. <laughs> you just have to be able to read numbers on it to tell um, what's going on with, with temperatures, your components and your wires. And that would be one way to see if something is really overheating. Uh, and so that would be something I would look into. What about for both scenarios where it's uh, blowing when you start or later on? You, you could, like I said, make sure all your fuses are correct. Avoid overloads of any new equipment. If you have some aftermarket accessories that you're running, that you haven't been running before, or maybe you've been running it for a long time, you could still just not use them for a while and see if you continue to have the problem. That could be one of the issues. As the, the wires and everything get older, you expect everything to stay the same always. But as it gets older, it creates more resistance when it gets uh, corroded and older. It just It's harder for everything to work and go through the wires. So you get a lot more resistance. And by turning something on, even if you've had it on in the past, maybe you just got over the edge and now... Also, you could have a really uh, bad environment. You could have a really muggy hot day or weeks or months more than usual. And so you have to think about, are you asking your air conditioner to do something in the past that it hasn't done? So check, check overloads for new accessories. Check your battery, your alternator, make sure it's running. You, you can have like AutoNation or Pep Boy or some, sometimes those places will check your battery and alternator for free if you have any doubts. Um, and make sure they're running properly. Usually you have some gauges and dials on your car. You could see if it's working right. But, but because if they're not working right, you could have a problem overheating. And finally, make sure if anybody, including you, have done any recent work, <laughs> electrical work. In my experience over the years, anytime anyone, including myself, has worked on the car, you fix, you fix two things and you break one thing. <laughs> it's, not, it's not good. Um, if you're a shade tree mechanic or shade tree electrician, <laughs> you don't really know what you're doing. You might fix the problem, but you break something else. So you could have uh, had somebody work on your car and they mess something up. Go, go see, look at that area where the work was done and what was connected to it, what was had to be disassembled and put back. Make sure everything was done right. Um, so this didn't help 90% of you, but I'm pretty sure it did help a few people. 
And that's what I was hoping for, at least helped a few people that didn't have to spend a lot of money and maybe they could fix it themselves. Because there's a lot of stuff you can use diagnostically by just listening and looking, even smelling. If, you, if there's something smells like it's burning, it is. It's not a trick. It's not an illusion. If something smells like it's burning in your car, it's really burning. You need to look into that. Perhaps you need to have somebody look into that really quick. So guys, hope this was helpful to you. I'll leave a link to the original video I did a couple years ago about 12 reason fuses. There's other information that, that wasn't put in this video perhaps. And uh, I put on new videos every week. I've been doing it for, lordy, 17 years. <laughs> Got over 1,400 videos. Put new stuff on every week. And I uh, hope this helps. It's been a pleasure, guys. It's been a pleasure. I hope it helped. All right, take care. See you out there.